she's human. But not really. Terrifying interview with a female humanoid robot. Robots have come a long way. With development and technology, robots have increasingly taken on human-like features and are now adoringly referred to as humanoid robots. However, these robots are much more than just adoring. They can be scary, too. In this video, we will talk about an interview which was conducted at CES 2022, the most influential tech event of the past year, so stay tuned. But before we continue further, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. In the first public demonstration of this humanoid robot called Amica, the differences between a human and an android have kind of muddled. Now right off the bat, conducting an interview with a robot will be unnerving. At the CES 2022, the team behind CNET had the chance to interview Amica to determine if the robot was able to produce human-like responses. Now most videos and posts have already shown Amica's realistic facial expressions. But what was truly unsettling was Mecha's spoken responses. Now if you've been surfing the net lately, you already would have seen Amica. The public demonstration showed that the humanoid robot had a gray-colored face and showed facial expressions which spread like wildfire on social media. Even the most tech-savvy entrepreneurs, such as Elon Musk, were petrified. Now, most people had a haunting response to Amica's expressions, but its UK-based creators, Engineered Arts, over the moon since the humanoid robot had become an instant hit. They reported that Amica's first look on Twitter earned them almost 24 million views. One thing was for sure, even though we refer to Amica as a humanoid, but it does not quite have a human-like appearance. Amica has a body made up of plastic and steel, and its facial expressions are not typical of any specific gender. Its head movements are controlled by 17 individual motors, which are also responsible for controlling its expressions. Now, despite having a mechanical control over its facial expressions, the features themselves are very vivid and convey real-life emotions. The combination of artificial and organic human-like expressions promises to be a thing of the future. We have already seen this happen in movies like iRobot and Aliens. Now it seems that things have taken a turn for the real. However, this humanoid robot has a long way to go before we can call it human. Today, most of these humanoid robots are used for the entertainment industry. They are also seen in restaurants where interaction and communication with other humans is expected but it's interesting to see what these robots would do in the future. We already have some idea when we see Amica in action, since it was partly inspired by all the famous sci-fi movies. Amica's body is made up of latex flesh, and her expressions were animated enough to distract other people who were conducting an interview with the team behind Amica. Amica was continuously responding to questions posted by the CNET team to the creators through its expressions. Amica would raise its eyebrows and twitch her upper lip to give the impression that she is smiling. But Amica is not the first humanoid robot to have attracted public attention. The creative team behind Amica, the UK-based engineered arts, had already produced an impressive line of humanoid robots called Mesmer. Mesmer has been in production for the past four years and have been publicly shown in many conferences and tech-related events. What's really interesting about Mesmer robots is that it is designed and built from 3D in-house scans of real people. One advantage of using scans of real people in its construction is that the company is able to masterfully replicate bone structures, skin texture, facial expressions, and even hair density and eyebrows. Another unique advantage of Mesmer is that it has been designed to be modular. This means that it can be changed quite a bit to fit a prospective client's requirements. So, if you are not particularly in love with how the head of your humanoid robot looks, you can swap it out with just a simple click. Also, the mechanics have been designed to fit your specific needs. Toshiba's robotic humanoid, Aika, has the capacity to give a big, wide smile. Aika is able to do that because of the motors present in its head. Aika also has some unique facial expressions, and Toshiba has announced that Aika Chihara will work on the information department of its store. Aika is only capable of speaking Japanese, but it will also communicate through sign language. But as far as Amica is concerned, it is more than just eye candy. Yes, Amica has not been designed for exposure to conferences and cannot certainly run and jump like robots designed by Boston Dynamics. Moreover, Amica is not a robot which can be simply pre-ordered as a household helper. 
Engineered Arts has publicly said that it will be at least 10 years before Amica will be walking amongst the public in the capacity of a service robot. Now, let's imagine what the future would look like with Amica walking amongst us. Although many tech enthusiasts would see this as a positive development, but there were many people who were absolutely terrified of how Amica responded to questions. So, when humanoid robots like Amica will roam freely within us, will it mark the twilight of human civilization? This remains to be seen, since we have another decade before that actually happens. Something else also seems to be taken into account. Amica does not have Mesmer's colored skin tones and certainly does not have lifelike human hair on its head. Amica has a translucent plastic skull, and its body consists of visible joints. This means that Amica is not a typical humanoid robot, and it was deliberately designed that way. The reason is that Mesmer robots have been designed to mimic humans in all respects. If Amica followed Mesmer's template, then it would mean that Amica would look a bit more sinister. Amica was deliberately designed to create a unique look. Amica's body has been designed in keeping with its 10-year production gap. The artificial body will help users to be more comfortable with its usage, and they will be able to look into any issues they run into. Engineered Arts was going for something midway between full-on human body replication and a futuristic robotic-oriented design. The robots will have a camera installed in its eyes so that its vision could monitor the environment in which it is to function. The cameras will also be able to track human expressions and react appropriately to it. Also, the camera-assisted vision system would be able to see objects and monitor it. Amica was also responding to people looking at it through raising its eyebrows and paying attention to bystanders. Amica has been seen as smiling in response to certain questions, which by the way, did not seem like a natural human smile. One reason why it seemed kinda inhuman was because it was plasticky and metallic, adjectives which we rarely use to describe an attractive human smile. Amica also leaned back when a hand was waved near its face. Let's just say that Amica does not look like humans in all respects. This realization was not lost on the interviewer who was asking difficult questions to Morgan Rowe, Director of Operations of Engineered Arts. He asked if while working late at night over a couple lines of code, he would be worried if Amica was glancing secretively at him and, well, winking at him in the dark. Now, aside from its outward humor, the question was getting at something truly existential. We will certainly be unnerved if someone was lurking in the dark and looking at us. Would the person who is being looked at feel that they are being stalked? Morgan Rowe replied in a reassuring way that working day to day with robotics waltzing around was like routine, and that he had seen so many engineers walking through the workshop sometimes carrying parts of Amica. Thankfully, Amica does not look like humans. If it did, then watching your coworkers carry the head of a very human-like robot would be downright creepy. I suppose all of us should count our blessings then. This concludes today's video. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you found something of value in it. Thank you for watching till the end. See you in the next video.